This is your final season as a collegiate coach. Tell us about wrapping up your 25-year career at EIU this year. Well, it's been amazing uh, all 25 years, and I'm uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, the season, uh, hoping to go out on a, a winning note. We struggled last year a little bit, but uh, uh, I know our team is excited about the upcoming season. Uh, my wife and daughter are as well, and uh, I look forward to it. What will or can make this year special compared to any of your previous 24 seasons? Well, uh, winning, I think, is important. Uh, yeah, that's what you play the game for, and uh, uh, I think going out as a, on a winning note uh, would be very important. But uh, I'll certainly miss all the people that I've been associated with over the years. And uh, But it's, it's got to happen, and it's, and it's going to happen. But uh, we're looking forward to a, a successful season. Your career aside, what do you like most about your team this year? I like our leadership. Uh, we have four young men that we voted captains uh, after spring practice. Uh, they are excited about leading this football team. Uh, they're not only great athletes, but great students, great leaders. And I think leadership is very important going into the season, especially coming off a losing season last year. So uh, that's, that's really significant. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? Well, just uh, we, we knew we had to get better. We had to. We, we worked very hard in the off season to, to, to get stronger and faster, and, and uh, uh, our spring practice was really uh, set the tone for this season. We uh, we got bullied a little bit last year by a lot of teams, and we wanted to make sure that didn't happen again. So we worked extremely hard on uh, football as a contact sport. Um, we were a little shy with that last year. That won't happen again this year, I assure you. We're going to be competitive, and we're going to win some football games. What are your general impressions of the OVC race this year? Well, I don't know. It's very interesting, isn't it? Uh, last year, a team that had been in the bottom half for a lot of years uh, came off a 2-9 and nine season and, and won the championship with a 9-2 and two year. So that's how it goes in this game. Uh, you, I couldn't tell you who's going to win it. Uh, it's every it's a it's a tight race all the way. We're, we're a better league from top to bottom, so anybody can win it. It'll be interesting to see who does. Your offensive line has four starters back this season. Will that be a strength for the Panthers? I, there's no question about it. Uh, the team that won it last year, Southeast Missouri, uh, had all seniors, I believe, as their starters. We had a lot of young kids that were playing their, their first football for us. That's not a good situation to be in. So that year's experience is going to determine whether or not we're going to be successful or not. Um, we felt we got stronger in spring practice. Our run, We were able to develop a running game. I think it's because those kids matured a little bit. So that's very important. What will it take for your team to be in the championship hunt this season? Well, we've got to eliminate a lot of mistakes that we made last year. Uh, we turned the ball over an unusual amount, and that uh, uh, you, you can't do it in the game of football and expect to win. Um, when we've been uh, near the top of the, the, the rankings, uh, we've always had teams that had more, more takeaways than giveaways. So we've got to be very strong. Uh, our defense has to be more solid, uh, and our offense has to... Uh, make sure that they are running the football a lot stronger than they did last year. And I think if we can eliminate those kinds of things, eliminate the mistakes, eliminate the turnovers, run the ball well, and stop the run defensively, I think we'll be in good shape. Tell us a little about your schedule and how it plays out for your team this year. Well, we start out with uh, a, a team from another conference, uh, Illinois State. Uh, it's the 100th meeting of, of our association, so it'll be uh, it'll be an interesting game. It'll be a home game for us, being played on a Thursday night, so that'll be exciting to, to play that game. The next week we go down to, uh, or we actually go up to uh, Northwestern and play a Big Ten opponent. So that'll that'll kind of set the tempo to to find out where we're at in relationship to uh, the major conferences, and then we get into our. Uh, uh, conference schedule, and uh, it's going to be interesting. From every every game is going to be a, a, a nail biter, I'm sure, and uh, uh, but we're looking forward to it.